Oh my freaking god Caillou, you little brat, we cannot believe that you got the dead meat card on behavior card day, that's it, today is your ultimate punishment day. No 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 no, not an ultimate punishment day, anything but that. Too bad Caillou, you are getting an ultimate punishment day and that is final. Now let's start with the punishments. First punishment. I will cut your forehead off with this chainsaw. Now get ready, you little brat. No, 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 no. FBI, open up! Ah, uh, uh. we found those wanted child abusers. Who are the names? Boris. Doris, and Rosie. Now let's arrest them. Hey, what are you doing? Let the three of us go right now. Boris, Doris, and Rosie, you three are under arrest. What did we do? You three are under arrest for child abusing your Hold son. on a second. You can arrest us. Caillou was the one who should be arrested because all was chaos and... Wait a minute, you guys are not even the Go City Police, who are you people? We are the police is from Lola J the cool Gonimator Boy 2009's universe, and you child abusers are in hot water right now. And we heard about you three abusing your son 24-7, and giving him an ultimate punishment day and kill him at the end. Like, what the hell is wrong with you people? Yeah, and not only that, is that you almost chainsawed him by giving him an ultimate punishment day. And luckily we came here to stop you three child abusers. How dare you all so much. You three are going away for a very 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 long time. And we are also going to the court in Lola J the cool Gonimator boy 2009's universe. And your son will no longer be a part of you anymore. You three child abusers are coming with us to the helicopter. Hey, let us go right now. You can't do this to us. Hi there little boy, you must be Caillou Anderson, are you okay? Yes, but who are you, and how did you found us at our house? We're the police from Lola J, the cool Gonometer Boy 2009 universe, and we got someone know where you and your parents live. We heard that you have been abused by your parents. Wait, so you both are here to save me from my abusive parents? Yes we are, your parents are heading to court and they will be facing a lot of consequences for abusing you for your whole life. And you can also find a new family after your parents are executed. Wow, I can't believe this is happening. I hope it's not a dream, but it's not. Thank you officer from Lola J's universe, you guys are my heroes. You're welcome Caillou, you should come with us too, because Paper Luigi 99's universe is not safe for you, and you'll be moving to Lola J the cool Bonometer Boys universe. You will also go to court and explain to the judge about what happened to you, and soon, they will found guilty for what they done to you. Okay officer, I will do that. Good, let's go to the other police helicopter, your parents are in the first helicopter, you will go to the other police helicopters so you will not be near them. For today's exciting news, the polices have found the child abusers, Boris, Doris, and Rosie Anderson, were going with live with Kenneth Given who is in front of their house. Yes, Please. Brian, and That's we're going to right say now. that the polices and found the child us. abusers, Boris, Doris, and Rosie. Those child abusers will be heading to court in a few hours. Thank you guys so much for saving me from my abusive parents. I can't wait to go to the court and give them what they deserve. You're welcome, Caillou. Now that your parents are already taken off the helicopter, let's get in the other helicopter and get to Lola J's universe right away. Okay. Okay, Leo, make sure you behave at school. Okay, Mom. I am going to be on my best behavior. Huh? That's weird. Why is there a police helicopter in front of the school? Aha! Uh -huh. We found those wanted criminals. 
Hey, what are you doing? Let me go, kid. Or should I say, Leo, you are under arrest. What? What did I do? Um, excuse me, officer. Why are you arresting my son? Did he do anything wrong? Are you the mother of this kid? Yes, I am. What did he do? Your son is in big trouble with everyone right now. We heard about your son, Leo, has committed a crime of psychological abusing a student named Caillou. What? Are you serious? My son Leo did all of that. Leo, is it true that you did psychological abuse your classmate Caillou? Tell me the truth right now. Okay, okay, okay. I did psychological abuse on Caillou, because he's been a troublemaker and the way he behaved terribly and what he even did to my teacher and Sarah. You did what? How could you? I can't believe that you did psychological abuse along with your teacher, your classmates, and your principal. Do you realize that is child abuse? Not only that, is that he suffered the worst life ever because of you. I am so furious at you right now. This is not how I raised you. I can't believe that you did all of this. You are in deep trouble with the police and everyone else, young man. Just wait until I tell you, father. Your mother is right. He will be heading to court to Lola J. The cool Gonimator boy's universe, his teacher, principal, and classmate will be arrested too. Oh, so that's why you came all the way here. Because you're not the Go City Police. You're the police from Lola J. That cool Go Animator Boy 2009's universe. Because of the name, right? That's right. Your son will be facing lots of consequences for what he done to Caillou. If you want to hear his actions for what he did, you will have to head to court all the way. Consider it. I will book a flight and pack some of our things up to go to the airport and get there. That's good to hear. This will take a few hours to head to the courthouse. Anyways, before we go, there's other wanted criminals in this school. Leo, tell us what's your classroom number is, and where is the principal's office at, so we can arrest your teacher, your one classmate, and the principal for child abuse. Yeah Leo, you better tell the police where your classroom and the principal's office at, or else you will be a lot of trouble with the police and face a long time in jail. Alright. I will tell you where are they. My classroom number is 206, and then go to the left to the principal's office. Good. Now we know where the wanted criminals at. Officers, go in and arrest the other wanted criminals in this school. Okay, sir. Okay, Leo. Get in the police helicopter right now. You will wait there until the other officers arrest your teacher, your classmate, and your principal for what you and them done. And Leo, me and your father will see you up there in court and you better explain the judge what you did or else you will be in lots of trouble. Now goodbye. Let's go kid. Get in the police helicopter right now. You will wait there until the other officers arrest your teacher, classmate, and the principal. Okay class, now that class has started, we will do some math, huh? Weird. Leo hasn't showed up, because Leo always shows up in class. Yeah, Mrs. Martin, he always shows up in class. Maybe he's not here because he's sick today. I don't think I believe that one. MRS Clementine didn't say anything that he's sick. Wait a minute, I think that Caillou is causing trouble again. Maybe he's bothering Leo and causing him to be late. I believe so, Sarah. Oh, if he dares do something bad again. Then I will seriously slam him to the ground on the floor. That's a great idea, Mrs. Martin. Whoa, I heard someone pounding on the door. Maybe a staff member wants to see you very important. Yeah, Sarah. I'd better tell them to come in. Um, you may come in. The door is opened. Are you the name of Ann Martin? And the student of yours are behind the name of Sarah? Um, yes. I'm Ann Martin and my one student is Sarah. Who are you people and what do you want from us? Hey. What are you doing? Let us go right now. Ann Martin and Sarah, you both are under arrest. What? No, we didn't do anything wrong. We have a class to do. Well, your teaching class is now over. You are under arrest for child abusing your student, can you? What? You can't arrest us for what we did to Caillou. He deserved all that because he is the worst student to our class and causing trouble. 
Plus, you are not the ghost city police. What kind of police are you to arrest us for false reasons? Don't give us that tone of an excuse. And you both did was called child abuse. Not only that, after he got the dead meat card, you abused him so badly and injured him. And worst of all, Miss Martin, you even celebrated when Caillou was getting his head cut it off with a car by his father. Like what the hell is wrong with you people? Also, we are the police from the J. Vakulico Animator Boys Universe. You and your student are in hot water right now. Yeah. And we already have your student Leo waiting in the helicopter until we get you and the principal. What? So that's why Leo didn't come to class. That's correct. You both are going away for a very long time. And we are also going to the court in the J. Vakulico Animator Boys Universe. You three are coming to the helicopter. Hey, let us go right now. You can't do this to us. Okay, now I need to finish some paperwork. After that, then I will go to the teacher's lounge to get some coffee. I hope I don't have that trouble making student Caillou. Geez, who could that be banging on my door? Maybe it's one of the staff that needs to see me. I will tell them to come in. You may come in. Um, who are you and what are you doing in my school? Are you the principal of the name of Mrs. Clementine? Yes, but what do you want from me? Hey, what are you doing? Get your hands off of Mrs. me. Mrs. Clementine, you are under arrest. What? But what did I do? And you are not the Go City Police. Where are you from? We are the police from Lola J. The Cool Go Animator Boy 2009's universe. And you are under arrest for child abusing your student named Caillou. Abused one of your students and allow child abuse at your school. What? But you can't do this to me. And we allow child abuse at our school because bad students needs to be taught a lesson. And Caillou is one of my worst student ever. And I tried to kill Caillou for getting the dead meat card on behavior card day. Let me go right now, because I need to finish up my paperwork. Well, your paperwork is done, and so does your job as the principal. Allowing child abuse at your school is very illegal and against the law. That's it. You are going to court in Lola J. The Cool Go Animator Boys Universe, and you are getting in the police helicopter. Now, let's go. Hey, let me go. You can't do this. Please let us go. You can't do this to us. Let me go. I gotta finish my paperwork. Greetings everyone, and welcome back to GNN News. We just got a report that the child abusers, Boris, Doris, and Rosie has arrived to court in Go City. We will go live with Johnson Campbell who is at the front of the courthouse. Can you hear me Jones and Campbell? I'm here in the front of the courthouse, as you see, the child abusers as well. They will now be heading to court for their times. You people better let us go right now. You can't do this to us. Doris and Rosie, are you seeing what I'm seeing? They are angry at us. This can't be happening. Oh my goodness. Everyone and is cheering at me. Revived is Caillou, and the court is almost starting. Let's go Caillou. It's time for your parents' channel so you can explain all this keep happening to you. Alright. I can't wait for these people to teach my parents a lesson. We will now go on live event of the trail of Boris, Doris, and Rosie, inside played in Lola J's universe. Live event begins now. Court is now in session, so we are going in the record, in matter of people, versus Boris, Doris, and Rosie who are convicted of, of giving their son the ultimate punishment day, abusing him so badly, and murdered him so many times. So Boris, Doris, and Rosie, 
Do you realize how much damage you've done to your son's life, and you almost chainsawed him by giving him the ultimate Luckily, punishment day. here to stop you in time? You also cut his head off with your car by always brutally and injuring him, murdered him a few times. But luckily, Onimate logic always bring him back to life, and celebrating him committing suicide. Like, what the hell is wrong with you people? Do you have anything to say? For your information, Caillou is the worst son and everyone we could have. He always causes trouble and destruction. He deserved to have a punishment day. I agree with my husband. He is nothing but a troublemaker and he deserved to be punished big time, and he also deserved to die. I agree with my mom and dad. He even gets revenge on us and ruining our life. He doesn't deserve to live on this planet. Mom, Dad, and Rosie, do you even realize how much you put me through? I am getting tired of you grounding me and giving me a punishment day non-stop. And I had to get revenge on you for how the way you treated me like a slave and a punching bag. You are the worst parents I have ever had. You even gave away my freedom and ground me for no reason. Shut up. Shut up, Caillou. You brought this to your own self. You don't talk to us like that. If you ever dare to speak to us that way again, then me, Doris, and Rosie will. Shut the hell up, Boris. Your son has a right point about you. Don't think about giving your son a punishment day, cause you're in handcuffs, you have no remorse at all. You should realize that this is child abuse, and how bad you treated him and punished him way to the extreme. You, your wife, and daughter must be ashamed of yourselves. Excuse me, your honor. Yes, inspector. The officers have brought the other criminals who had abused Caillou here, which is Mrs. Martin, Caillou's teacher, Caillou's principal, and his classmates. The officers is already bringing them here to court right now. Good. Oh my god, please tell me this is true. What? No, don't tell us that they... Hey, get your hands off of us right now. You better let us go at once, you can't do this to us. <laughs> Boris, Doris, and Rosie. Um... Hi Mrs. Clementine, Mrs. Martin, Leo, and Sarah, it seems they brought and arrested you. Boris, what's going on, and I see Caillou right next to the judge. Sarah, these people are giving angry stares at us, all of us. Oh no, they are really angry at us, I really feel like something is wrong, I feel so well, scared. Well, well. Looks like we got more criminals that have abused Caillou in my court. Hey, who are you to call us criminals? Caillou is a criminal and should be in jail and... Shut the hell up, missus. You are criminals because you abused Caillou so many times. Now that you child abusers are here, let's continue with session. Melanie Martin, you are convicted of abusing Caillou, being a strict teacher, also involved in his punishment day. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Well, Caillou is my worst student in my class, and he never pay attention and cause trouble in my class, and ruining Leo's life. And not only that, he also got the dead meat card. He deserves to have an ultimate punishment day and also deserves to be killed. That is no excuse to do that to your student, and I believe why he petrified you, because how the way you treated him, and give him a lot of hard test, you, should be ashamed. You should realize that teachers cannot abuse their students like that. You are a horrible of excuse of a Melanie. Hey, you don't speak to her like that. Who do you think you are? You should be. Shut your mouth, Mrs. Clementine. I'm the judge here, and you are also convicted of abused Caillou. Also allow child abuse at your school. What do you have to say for this matter? Well, we allow child abuse at our school. Because bad students needs to be taught a lesson, and Caillou is the worst student in my school. He always caused chaos in the school and also got the dead meat card on behavior card day. He deserves to get a ultimate punishment day and deserves to die. Bullshit. You should realize that allowing child abuse at your school is very illegal. Not only that, you and Miss Martin also tried to kill him after he got the dead meat. You and Melanie should realize that this is murder. You are seriously a terrible of excuse of a principal. Leo, you are also convicted of being a Baxter towards your friend Caillou, psychological abuse, and being the worst friend. What do you have to say for yourself? Caillou is my worst classmate and my worst enemy ever. He always causes trouble in class and always ruin my life. 
That's why he deserves to have a brutal punishment day. Says the one who tried to ruin Caillou's life, you've been snitching on him, and you prevented him from using your homework and put his name on You it. should be very ashamed of yourself. And you should have mind your own business, young snitching boy. Hey, you don't talk to my friend like that. You made him cry. Who do you think you are? I didn't say you can talk, Sarah. And also, you are convicted of being a Baxter towards your friend Caillou. What do you have to say about yourself? Well, I am not sorry for what I did to Caillou. He has been bullying, harassing, and keep hurting us, so he deserves to have brutal abusive punishments. Well, you're the one who is ruining Caillou's life. You heard what I said to him. If he doesn't be a little snitch and minded your own business, then this wouldn't even happen. You should be very ashamed of yourselves. So, how do you all plead? Not guilty. I agree with my husband. Not guilty. I agree with my mom and dad. Not guilty. I plead. Not guilty. Your I agree honor. with Mrs. Clementine. Not guilty. Not guilty. I plead not guilty. The rest of you plead not guilty. I don't believe this. So I call Henry and Abigail to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. So, you must be the parents of Caillou Anderson. My wife and I are so mad at you, the way how you treated your son like that. You people ought to be ashamed you of yourselves. You seriously punished your son way too far. Boris, I saw that you cut off Caillou's head with your car and injured him so bad. And you also said that child abuse is a good thing that makes life better. When it's not, child abuse is a serious crime. You, your wife, and your daughter gave him an ultimate punishment day. You even chopped his eyes off with a knife, grated and injured his face, and also torturing him insanely. Seriously, you guys are seriously ill. I agree with my husband. You people even forced him to kill his cat Gilbert, and you should realize that this is animal abuse. Now, you people are sick. I agree with my wife. And I declared that you along with those people are guilty. That's all we need to say to them, Your Honor. Thank you for your time, Henry and Abigail. Next, we got Mateo to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor. So, you must be Boris, Doris, and Rosie Anderson. I cannot believe that you would torture your son like that. Seriously, what is the matter with you? You people, people are insane. Even more insane. Boris, you cut your son's head off. That was very gory of you to do that. He literally had to suffer badly. So I declared that you and the rest are guilty. That's all I have to say about those child abusers. Thank you for your time, Mateo. Now I call Anthony and Sailor. Come up to the stand. Thank you, Your Honor, but this may be loud. So you're Boris, Doris, and Rosie Hunt. You see that I'm furious of you? For abusing your son 24-7. Do you realize how much your son has to be you non-stop? Well, you slammed him into the spike pit and badly injured him. He nearly died because of your insane punishments. You, your wife, and your daughter are a huge disgrace. I agree with my husband. You have been treating him like he's worse than Hitler. You have no right to do that to your son. That is very cruel and child abuse. Yeah. Because of that, my wife and I declared you and the other people guilty, big I hope you psycho parents get executed for this. We're done. Thank you for your scolding and time Anthony and Sailor. And lastly, I call Ethan and Harper to the stand. Thank you, your honor. So, you must be Caillou Anderson's family, you people ought to be ashamed of yourselves. We can't believe that you have abusing and torturing your son you people non-stop. are just crazy, Boris and Doris. You even buried his head in the bucket of bullet ants. What is wrong with you people? You know that he could have got injured. I agree with my husband. You guys are seriously sick in the head. You, your wife, your daughter, and others behind you should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah, I hope you child abusers will be executed one day. Me and my wife declared all of you are guilty for what you guys done to Caillou. We're finished, Your Honor. Thank you for your time, Ethan and Harper. Now, since no one already pleaded themselves guilty, what does the jury and everyone including Doral find Boris, Doris, and Rosie, Mrs. Clementine, Mia, and Sarah's Martin? Guilty. Right, right. 
Leo, for assaulting and psychological abuse, you are sentenced to 10 years to juvenile detention. Oh no, detention. not 10 years. That is the longest sentence ever. My life is ruined. Why? <laughs> Sarah, for assaulting and logical abuse, you are sentenced to 15 years where Leo will be at. No, that's not fair. Caillou deserves all that. Now my life is ruined. <laughs> Mrs. Martin, for child abuse and being a strict teacher, you are sentenced for 50 years at Lola J. The Cool Go Animator Boys. Are you serious? 50 years? For what I did to Caillou. But that's not fair. That is a very long sentence. I can't live that long there. Too bad, so sad. Life isn't fair. If you haven't abused Caillou so many times, this wouldn't have happened. This is for your lesson for what you have Moving done. Forward, Rosie Anderson, for psychological abuse, ruin your brother's life, abusive punishments, and involved in Caillou's ultimate punishment day. You are sentenced to 75 years to Los Angeles, California's prison. Holy shit. 75 years? But that's not fair. That is the longest sentence ever, and I won't be fit enough for kids, teenager, and adult. I will be bailed out when I'm 78 years old and I can't live that long for 75 years. My life is ruined. Goodbye forever bad brother Caillou. W-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
We cannot believe that Caillou requested the judge to get our punishment day, now we will have the same suffer like him. I know Boris. If only we would punish him for requesting the judge to have our punishment day but we can't since we're in prison until it's time for our punishment day. Yeah. This is going to be the worst life ever. I hope nothing gets worse. Oh no. Please don't tell me it's... Attention everyone. It is now 8 o'clock in the morning. Today's the day that Boris and Doris to have a punishment day. Everyone is ready for them. Release them from their cell. Oh no. This is not going to be good. Okay, Boris and Doris, you understand? It's now time for your punishment day. You son along with other twan are waiting for you by Main Street. Now, let's go. You child abusers are done. It is now 8 o'clock in the morning. Today is the time that Boris and Doris Anderson are getting a punishment day by their son and a lot of town folks. We will be going on a live event. Also, this video is not made for toddlers and little kids to watch. Make sure that no one is under 10 is watching this. Anyways folks, live event begins now. Alright Boris and Doris. These people including your son are already here for you. Get out of the police car right now. Have fun getting a punishment day you child abusers. And we will get the electric chairs ready for you whilst you both are getting a punishment day. Now get out of the car right now. Well well well, mom and dad. I hope you stupid abusive parents of mine are ready for this. This is my payback and revenge for you you did to me, hope you're ready for this. And for that, we will also help him out along with everyone else who will help. This will teach you guys a lesson for what you have done to your son. Oh, and this will be the same suffer like you did to your son. And then away you can deny it. Caillou, and everyone. Please. Don't give us our punishment day. We are so sorry for punishing our son way to the extreme. We promise we won't do it again. Hell no. There is no way we're accepting that fake apology. And your apology is absolutely denied. And you are not sorry at all. You did all of this on purpose. And that's just too bad. You are getting a punishment day and that's final. Yeah, and that's no way you can change our minds. This is for your son's payback. Now let's begin with the punishments. And we are also not telling you how many. Now let's begin. Alright you child abusers. First punishment. You will be getting 1000 concussions by Lola J's version of what? Boris. 1000 concussions. That that will hurt so bad. And please don't tell me that it will be another me. Yes. It will be another Boris that will be giving you 1000 concussions. Boris. Would you do the honors? Oh hell yeah, my bad clone and paper Luigi 99's Doris. I can't believe that you have been abusing your son way too far and though I still have bad kids, but that still doesn't mean that I abuse them because I don't abuse my kids. You child abusers better get ready for 1000 concussions. Oh, my, freaking, God, our head is in serious pain. We could have died of blunt force trauma or either, or even have Finally, amnesia. It took you guys an hour for us waiting for you to wake up. Even though people are talking, texting, playing games and calling of their phones while we're waiting. But you guys still have more punishments to go. Get up and prepare for your next punishment. Second punishment. You will drink milks that are expired for a very long time. What? Oh no. I don't want to drink this. This milk happened to be expired on January 16, 2006. Oh god, I don't want to drink this. This milk expired on September 20th, 1986. We don't want to drink this, please. Well that's just too bad. Either you drink this right now or we will have Caillou add more punishments. Fine. We will drink this. 
But you guys are seriously going to regret it. <laughs> Holy crap. It tastes so gross. That made us vomit so bad. We don't care how it tastes. This is what you get for child abusing your son. Now let's move on to your next punishment. Um, why are we in this forest for? Well, for your third punishment, you both are getting a huge beating, but not with the bat, because Caillou already has something better than this. Wait, you don't mean... That's right. For your insane punishment, me and everyone will beat you up with... Spike Bats. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, please. Don't beat us up with the spike bats. Too fucking bad. This is for your lesson for abusing your son. Okay, everyone, let's beat those child abusers up. the worst beating we ever had. We will never forgive you guys for what you guys done to us, especially you Caillou. Way I don't care how you feel. This is what you get for abusing your son way too far. Now you know what the pain feels and including your stupid ally friends did to Caillou. You're still not done with your punishment yet. Get up. Come on. We are now moving to your next punishment. Fourth punishment. I will drop a piano on top of you. Now you will stand on the target spot so we can release the piano to drop on you. What? Are you serious right now? There is no way we are standing on that target and getting crushed. Well mom and dad, maybe if you haven't abused me for my whole life, this wouldn't happen. Now get on the target right now, or else I will add more punishments. And don't you even think about attacking me, because there's more and lots of people. And they will apprehend you and I will add more punishments. You heard what your son said. Now you three get on the target. Or I will have your son add more punishments. Okay fine. We'll get on the target. But you guys are seriously going to regret this. Holy crap. The piano crashed and hurt us. This is even worse than getting beaten up with spike bats. Way. Aha. Uh -huh. You now know how the pain feels. You child abusers deserve it for abusing me for my whole life. Your son is right. After we move that broken piano, we will move on for you next punishment. Yeah, and it will be super duper loud. Now let's get moving on to the next punishment. Right. Since we have permission to use the abandoned warehouse and tied you guys up. Your fifth punishment is that you will be listening to Never Gonna Give You Up song made by Rick Astley. And the reason we tied you guys up and the reason we tied you guys up, because you will be listening to it in the loud volume for two hours to prevent you from coving your ears. What? No, are you kidding? We don't want to listen to that annoying song. Besides, we don't want to hear it super loud. It will hurt our ears so bad. Please. Too bad. If you hadn't abused your son to the extreme, this wouldn't have happened, and it's still happening. Now we will put it on the song right after we leave the warehouse. I hope you enjoy this song. Hope the song gets stuck in your heads mom and dad. Oh god. I can't believe that we have to listen to that annoying crappy song. It's also gonna be loud and annoying.
Okay, your two hours are up. Holy crap, our ears is bleeding so bad, we will never listen to that song again. We don't care how you hate this song, this is what you get for child abusing your son non-stop. Now we are moving on to your next punishment. Okay. The reason why we're there at this street close at pawn shop, your seventh punishment is that you will watch Caillou spend stuff he wanted with your credit cards. What? How did you guys get our credit cards from all the way from Go City? After your trial and Caillou found a perfect punishment for you, Caillou had someone to use GoNamate logic to get your cards. Now, prepare for your worst punishment. Now Caillou, since your parents have over $100,000 in their credit cards, why don't you go to the pawn shop and get things you wanted for your whole life? Since your parents are getting executed, they won't be needing their credit cards anymore, this is their punishment and never had freedom. Would you like that? Oh my god. Yes. I will do that. I can't wait to show my parents their worst nightmare and I can finally get things I wanted for my life. I am so getting in that shop now. PS5, Caillou Games and whatever they have what I want. Here I come. Oh no, we better stop Caillou before he spends. Oh no you don't. Hey, no, let us go right now. We can't let Caillou spend stuff with our credit cards at pawn shop. Oh no you're not. This is what you get for child abuse. If you're going to stop your son from spending stuff with your credit cards, we will have you to the ground. Hannah is right, Boris. And it's already too late. Your son has already got something he wants and ready to show us right now. Oh my god, I finally got the PS5 I wanted so many times that my parents keep destroying it. Now I can play it again. No, not the PS5. Now how's that for your punishment? Yay. I got the Nintendo Switch for the first time that I always wanted. Now I can use it. No, not the Nintendo Switch. This pawn shop is so lucky. I even got the Xbox Series X. No, 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 no. Not the Xbox Series X. This is getting more lucky. I got me a laptop with Apple Mac. <laughs> This is the best day of my life. I got every of my games they got at the pawn shop. I also spended all of the guns, plug, and play so I can play my games. Best day ever. Caillou, how could you spend all of those dunk on those stupid games with our credit cards? That's it. We are so baking it and we... Oh hell no you're not. of his new stuff are put in the box, and I am taking his box to his new home, and I will also be taking away your credit cards and have them shredded while on there since your credit cards have zero balance. There, now you will never break his new stuff ever again. And you will also not take them back and have your balance on your credit card back since they are being shredded. And also, since you are being executed after your punishment day is done, now you will move on to your next punishment while I take Caillou's stuff to his new home. This is the worst punishment ever. Way. <laughs> Okay, for your seventh punishment, and for your son's payback, me and the other people will record you guys being embarrassing and make you guys throw a tantrum. Anyone who has their phones, take them out and record them and make them humiliated, this could possibly make them throw tantrums like babies. No, don't record us like this, we don't want to look embarrassed with injuries, and we're in prison uniforms. It's too late, we already started recording you. Get ready to be embarrassed, this is your son's payback and this is what you get for abusing him. Also, a TV cameraman is here too. No 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 
Oh, stop recording us. We don't want to look like this. Stop it, stop it, stop it. We don't want to be embarrassed and humiliated like this, please. Oh, please stop this right now. This I S and funny. Please stop recording us. It's not funny. Way. Cry all you want. This video is going on our social media accounts and others to share it to everyone to show how embarrassed and humiliated for your lesson. No, 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 don't upload it to your social media accounts, please. Too late. I already uploaded on my social media accounts. The other people who offer theirs too. This is what you abusive people get. Okay. Now I just... Hey guys. Mommy wanted me to show you this video. Check it out. Oh, whoa, 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 please stop this right now. Oh, my God. This is so funny. I'll use credits from paper to one point ninety nine throwing tantrums like idiots. They deserve it for abusing their son, Caillou. I agree with you. Oh, my God. This is so funny. I'll use credits from paper to one point ninety nine throwing tantrums like idiots. They deserve it for abusing their son, guys. Check out the video that our friends showed us. Oh my god, this was so funny as hell. Paper Luigi 99 Caillou's parents deserve it for child abuse. I agree. This was so hilarious. Oh my god. Boris and Doris from Paper Luigi 99 are throwing temper tantrums like a five-year-old. Yeah, they deserve it for abusing their son. Agreed. No Carter for what they've done. Oh my god. Please stop Is that right Paper now. Luigi 99 Caillou's parents? Us. It's not That's funny. terrible. Uh, uh, There's uh, people uh, uh, including uh, uh, Caillou harassing them and humiliated. I feel bad for them. I wish I could help them. <laughs> This is literally the worst punishment we have ever had. How could you guys do this to us to ruin our lives? You people are even worse than Caillou. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with you? You deserve it for what you did to your son. The video we record has already thousand of views. Now we will move on to your next punishment. Okay. The reason why we tied you up again but put you on the chairs. Your eighth punishment is that I will delete all of your social media accounts. What? How the hell did you manage to log into our social media accounts? Well, Mom and Dad, when you and Dad are not here, I snuck into your computers after you broke my laptop. I discovered your passwords and wiped it down, so you can't find it. Caillou, are you serious right now? We cannot believe that you snuck in our laptops to discover our passwords and... Shut your damn mouth, Boris. If you dare trying to punish your son, we will add more punishments if you dare. Now say goodbye to your social media accounts. I'm deleting them right now, and you will never see them again since you're being executed. What? Stop. Don't delete all of our social media accounts. We have family pictures and memories we're sharing, including we have 250 followers. Stop. Please stop. Don't do it. It's too late. I already delete all of your social media accounts. They're all gone. Forever. No, 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 no. All of our social media accounts are gone. We had these for years, and now they're all gone. Way. Cry all you want. They are all deleted forever. This is what you child abusers for what you've done. Now let's move on to your next punishment. All right. Since they allowed us to use the dorm showers, your ninth punishment is that you will be taking a 100,000 degree cold shower with your prison uniform. And the reason we already asked the owner to make the plumbers make the shower very cold with ice, it's because with GoAnimate logic, this is your son's payback. What the, f the fucking hell? 100,000 degree cold shower? It will be extremely cold for us. We are not getting in the showers to freeze to death. Too bad. This wouldn't have happened if you haven't abused your son. Now get in the shower right now or we will have your son to add more punishments. Okay fine. We will go in the showers. You guys are really going to regret that one as also. This will be extremely cold.
Oh, oh my god, 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 my god, it is so cold, 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 Oh my god, that was the most coldest and freezing punishment we have ever had. We could have had the most highest hypothermia and falls like a human popsicle. Way, uh, uh, uh. We don't care how freezing it is. This is for Caillou's payback and for your lesson for abusing your child 24-7. I agree with my brother, but you're still not done with your punishments. We are now moving on to your next punishment. Okay. The reason why we tied you again for the third time, this punishment would be worst of all. What? What is the worst punishment of all time, Caillou? Well, you see, Boris. Your tenth punishment is that you are watching your house to be destroyed by Florida Armed Forces since they accepted Caillou's request to teach you a lesson. That's correct. They're already at Go City and ready to drop the bomb on your house. That's right. All of your stuff will be permanently destroyed since you're being executed, well except for your son's stuff. Since a few people went there and gotten his stuff. What the absolute hell? Not our house. We lived there for a very long time. You can't do this. We don't want our house to get destroyed. Tell them not to do it. Too bad Boris. This is what you child abusers get and they are already here just about to destroy your house. Say goodbye to your house and your stuff, Karis and Doris. Okay, we're here at the Anderson House in Bo City. Go ahead and drop the bomb to their house. This will teach Kyle Anderson's parents a lesson. Releasing bomb man. Our beloved house and our staff is gone. I can't believe that you did this to us. You are the worst. Shut the hell up, Boris. That's for abusing your son. Everything including your house is gone forever. Except for your son's stuff and he will be living here and the city. Agreed. Hope this will teach you child abusers a lesson. Yeah. Since you're being executed, this will seriously teach- Oh. Looks like my phone is ringing. Hello? Oh, hello, officer. Oh. You guys got the electric chairs ready? Alright. We will be there in a few minutes. Thanks for letting us know. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay, everyone. The police called that the electric chairs are ready for Boris and Doris's execution. No, this can't be the time. Yes, it's the time. Before we take you to your execution, there's one more thing we need to do first. Alright mom and dad, now why we brought you here again at this abandoned warehouse before your execution, your 11th punishment is that we will shave your hair so hard. What? You guys can't shave our hairs off very hard, that will hurt and we will have razor. Why can't you guys shave our hairs normally? No, this is your punishment for what you guys done to your son, and that's just too bad. And besides, you will be executed after we shave your hairs off. Now get ready for the pain of your haircuts, because we are going to shave your hairs super hard. <laughs> Holy crap. You guys are seriously have to shave our hairs as hard. Now our heads is in pain. Why? Not to mention, is that you also shaved my hair but so hard and hurt it so bad. Why? Like we said for the last time, we don't care how the pain feels. Now your hairs are completely gone for for your 12th and final punishment. Please don't execute us, please. We are very sorry for abusing our son and giving him ultimate punishment day. We promise that we won't abuse our son ever again. No. Your apology is permanently denied. Do you realize how much your son has gone through? Beckley's the way you abused him for his whole life. That is very unacceptable of you to do that. Yeah. You're not sorry at all. 
You did all of this bullshit on purpose. You committed a huge child abuse crime but get away with it, but now, not anymore, you're not forgiven. Yeah, I agree. You have done enough for what you have done to your son. And we also heard from Child Protection Service that your son is permanently removed from your family. That's right. Your son is no longer a part of your family. Because you have been abusing him and giving him ultimate punishment day. It's time that your child abuse crimes are now over. I agree. Now your son will have a better life without you. Including his teacher and principal. His younger sister for 75 years and others who are sentenced. It's all over for you. I agree, you don't even know how to raise your son do you? All you do is just abuse him and treating him like he's worse than Hitler. You must be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah, you guys are seriously sick in the head. You even keep murdering him a few times. You make me sick. It's time. It's time that your life is over. Yeah. You don't deserve to have your son anymore because how you treated him. You wouldn't even stop torturing him for his whole life. You guys are seriously manly ill. My husband is right. You will never ever abuse your son like this ever again. It's time to say goodbye and goodnight to you, you psychopath child abusing parents from hell. All right, Boris and Doris. It's now time for your execution. And this rate, we are leading your son to pull the lever switch and electrocuted you to death. Now, Caillou, as a favor and revenge on your parents, would you like to pull the lever switch to execute your parents for the way they abused you for your whole life? Yes, officer. I will officially do it. I am so glad that I can give my parents for what they deserved for what they done to me. Goodbye forever mom and dad. I'm glad that I don't have to deal with you anymore. Wait, Caillou. Don't do this. We are family. Well not anymore. I am so sick of you abusing me for my whole life. So goodbye forever. Caillou please, please. We are very sorry for abusing you for your whole life. And we promise that we will never give you ultimate punishment days ever again. Do you really think I will fall for that? No. I know that you are lying to me and I'm sure that you will do this again. No. We are not. It's time that we should really admit for what we done, Caillou. We understand why we abused you. Because the way you've been acting and causing chaos. We had to do that because you need to learn your lesson. Look. We are very sorry for giving too much punishment days. We admit that all of this is child abuse. And how poorly we treated you. Look. You are our first son. And we raised you since you were born. We just wanted to make sure that you learn your lesson and not commit crimes. I believe that we were harsh on you. And we admit that we went too far. And even keep killing you which proves that we commit murder. Even though Go Animate government always brought you back. We admit everything. And we understand you wanted those stuff, but you should understand that we don't have enough money and we shouldn't have breaking your stuff that costed money, we're sorry. And we shouldn't have abused you for your whole life. It's time that we should change our ways and redeem ourselves. We're very sorry Caillou. Caillou. We apologize for what we've done to you. We find all of this child abuse, murder, ruining your life, destroying your stuff, and other more. And we promise that we will never ever do it again. Now how about you let the police let us go and forgive what we did? Will you accept our apology? Oh mom and dad, I'm so glad that you admit everything that you have done to me. After all this, you won't do it anymore. So, your apology is... Denied. No, you can't be. Yes, I'm serious. There is no way that you're sorry at all. And I don't believe everything you told me, because back then I got the dead meat car. You cut my head off with a car. You admitted everything you told me, but you didn't lighten before you cut my head off with your car. You have been treated me like this punching bag and a slave. You also said that child abuse is very good thing that makes life better after you cut my head with your car. You even gave me the ultimate punishment day back in 2019. And I thought then all that I was going to get another ultimate punishment day. But thanks to the police that stopped you. I am so sick of your grounding, abusing, and gave me punishment day non-stop. I am so sick of your bullshit. You didn't care that about me but only Rosie. You are the worst parents that I have ever had in my entire life. 
I am so glad that I don't have to deal with you anymore. Now prepare to die your child abusers. Caillou, please don't do it. We love you. No, you don't love me. You never take care of me, but only Rosie. You and Rosie just love to abuse me so much. My life will be better without you. Now goodbye forever. No, Caillou, please don't. They're dead. The live event of Boris and Doris Anderson Punishment Day and execution is now over. They have officially been executed. Caillou Anderson will have a better life. Now he will no longer be abused and have ultimate punishment day ever again. The other criminals who abused Caillou are in prison for a very long time. Now we will go on a commercial break. Stay tuned for more GNN news. Um, where are we? Oh no, this seriously can't be happening. We are officially in hell. That's right. You officially are, because you kept on abusing your son, and the other have been banished forever. For all your crimes you have done living your son ultimate punishment day. I'm going to blast you with my spear. Get ready for this, you child abusers. No, 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 It's finally over. My abusive life is finally over. No more abuse, no more ultimate punishment days. I am so glad that I don't have to deal with my parents anymore since they are executed. Neither my former teacher, my former classmates Sarah, especially that snitch Leo since they are not enrolled here at my new school. As of now, I find this school that I enrolled here is way better than the other school I formerly went to in Go City. And living here in Lola J the cool Gonimator Boy 2009's universe is much better than Go City. I also become popular due to my parents abusively and feel bad for me. I now have a new place to stay since I am permanently living here until I turn 18. And now it's time to start my new life all over again. I have made a lot new friends. So, 
everything I've been through is finally over. No more of my abusive parents, no more ultimate punishment days, no more child abuse. I really gave everyone a huge thanks for helping me giving my abusive parents a punishment day, and got what they deserve. I am so glad that I requested the judge for this. This was the perfect payback and revenge for what my parents did to me, and as for my other enemies. My former principal has lost her job and got sentenced for the rest of her life in prison. That's what my principal gets for trying to kill me after I got the dead me card. Screw my principal for trying to kill me with a gun. The other principal are way better than here because they are very nicer. And for my little sister Rosie, she is sentenced to 75 years in Los Angeles, California prison. That should really teach her a lesson for ruining my life, snitching on me, and helped my parents for my ultimate punishment day. And I bet that she is sad because my parents got executed for abusing me for my whole life. And for my former teacher. My former teacher has lost her job and got sentenced to 50 years in Lola J. The Cool Go to Mater Boy 2009's prison and I will never forgive her for how the way she abused me, giving me hard works, and sending me to the principal's office for no reason. And as for my former classmates, and for Leo the Snitch, Sarah was sentenced to 15 years in juvie where Leo is at, that what she gets for snitching on me nonstop. And as for Leo, Leo is sentenced to 10 years in juvie, I honestly don't have to deal with them, and I will never forgive him and his stupid best friend for abuse me nonstop. And I know that his parents are going to disown him since we will turn 18 after his sentence is over, but now my life has officially changed. However, I was sent to the hospital because I have suffered with post-traumatic stress disorder because of the way I was abused by my parents. The doctor said that I'll have a therapist for complex PTSD treatment for every two weeks. I still can't forget about my parents abusing me and can get it out of my head, but hopefully, I'll do my best. I'm still worried about Dora in Go City because she's still up there being abused by her parents, and that goes for little the bills. police has told me that they are still looking for them and arrest their parents for child abuse as soon as they can, but I hope that they're okay. I'm hoping that they will find them soon. As of taking classes, instead of regular class, the principal has put me there into special education so it will be better than regular classes because if I go on back in Go City, I think this class has been much better. Everyone here is so nice and feel bad for me because of the incident between me and my parents. I have a lot of friends and became so popular. I will no longer be abused and getting punishment days anymore for the rest of my life. Everything here has really changed my life. I hope you enjoy this movie about my parents gets arrested and executed. I'm sure some of you hoping my parents arrested if I've been saved. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.